all right you are welcome to this new video on my last video i showed you how i made 43 dollars using free traffic source so when you scroll down i showed you how i made 43 dollars on 23rd november using free traffic source i also showed you how i earned 43 dollars on 28th november when you come here you can see that i've gotten more sales here on 1st december i've earned 198 dollars and when you come here you can see that i've earned 52 dollars on 3rd december and when you come here you can see that i've also earned 207 dollars on 4th december so as you can see when you come here too you can see that i've earned 105 dollars on 5th december so i've recently begun using pinterest as and you know pinterest is one of the top search engines that gets a lot of traffic so on this video i'm going to show you how to run ads on pinterest to make sales on clickbank pinterest has a cheaper traffic source that you can use to promote your clickbank products so i'm going to show you step by step on how to do it in this video if you are new and you have not yet subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button press the notification bell for updates of my next videos anytime i'll use a new traffic source i'll try to use this account so that i can get the experience and explain it to you so now what we are going to do is that we are going to come to the marketplace to select a product that you want to promote let's click on that so once you click on the marketplace you are going to see a page like this and you are going to come here and then select any category that you want to promote products on so as you can see as an entertainment as seen on tv betting system business and investing you can see computers and internet you can see cooking food and wine e-business and e-marketing education employment and jobs so as you scroll you can see different categories that you can promote products on so all of them you can select a product to promote but we are going to use health and fitness in this video so you are going to click on that so once you click on the health and fitness you can see a page like this and what you are going to do is that you are going to come right here and then you are going to select gravity instead of rank so you are going to sort by gravity so once you sort by gravity you are going to scroll down and there's one specific product that we want to promote with the method that i'm going to show you you can go with any product but i'm going to use this product to demonstrate for you to see so when you come here we're going to be using this product to run the ads on pinterest so sometimes i promote this product there are other products that i promote in addition to this product so i'm going to use this one to demonstrate for you in this video so what we are going to do is that once you now seen the product you've seen how it is you can click here to view the product landing page but since i've done that i'm not going to go through all those process so this is the product that you are promoting and what you are going to do is that you are going to click on promote to get your affiliate link once you click on promote so you can then click here to generate your hop link so you click on it generate a hop link once you so once you generate a hop link like this you are going to build a landing page so that you can use it to promote on pinterest because pinterest doesn't accept direct affiliate links but i've already created a landing page if you want me to show you how to create a landing page in my next video kindly leave a comment below so that i can do that for you once you get your affiliate link build your landing page the next thing is that you are going to go right onto pinterest and you can begin creating your ad so let's come here once you come to pinterest you are going to see a page like this so if you don't have a pinterest account you are going to create one it's free to create a pinterest account so once you come to your accounts you are going to see a page like this and what you are going to do is that you are going to come here as and then you are going to select it once you select it you see something like this create ad so you are going to click on that so that you can begin creating your ad so you are going to click on that so once you click on create ad you are going to see a page like this and what you are going to do is that first of all you have to choose a campaign objectives so what this basically means is that you are going to show pinterest what you want the traffic for so if you want it for brand awareness you are going to select brand awareness if you want traffic that means people clicking to your website you are going to select consideration which was formerly known as traffic you can also select video views if you want people to view your video you are going to select video views if you want to have a catalog sales that is those who are selling clothes or many other items you can just select your catalog sales to run out for that so what we are going to do in this video is that we are going to choose the consideration so i have that selected already and what you are going to do is that 
here you are going to come to the campaign details and here you are going to see something like this campaign name so this is where you are going to give a name to your campaign there is no rule to it so you can just give any name that you want so i'm just going to give a name to it so i'm just going to give a simple name like keto i can see keto diet or you can just put any name that you want so we now have our campaign name the next thing is that we are going to come to campaign status so you are going to leave it at active you don't want to pause it so just leave it as it is the next thing is that we are going to come to the campaign budget and schedule so what you are going to do is that you are going to come here and then select the campaign budget type so here we have a daily budget and a lifetime budget so the daily budget you are going to tell pinterest the amount that you want to spend per day so maybe you want to spend hundred dollars per day two hundred dollars per day five dollars per day ten dollars per day twenty dollars per day any amount that you are going to spend per day you have to select the daily budget and then enter the amount here when you come to a lifetime it means maybe you want your campaign to run for a certain period so let's say a month a week or whatsoever so once you set the lifespan of your ad you can enter the amount that you want to spend for that period so you can enter it here so assuming it is one week you are going to tell pinterest the amount you are willing to spend for that week so i am going to go with daily budget type so we are going to select the daily once that is done you are going to now enter the amount you are willing to spend on your ad per day so you can go with five dollars you can go with twenty dollars there's no rule here so it depends on the amount that you are willing to spend so it depends on how much you have in your packet or how much you can pay so here i'm just going to leave it as twenty dollars per day once that is done you are going to come here and then select a campaign schedule so do you want your campaign to start running right away or you have specific days that you don't want your ad to be soon so when you select run continuously it means your campaign is going to be running every day until you pause it but when you select run on specific days you are going to specify certain days that you want your ad to be run and the days that you don't want your ad to run so maybe you don't want your ad to be run on sundays or saturdays or any day you can just specify that so when you click here you can specify those days so but here we are going to select run continuously so that it will continue running all this so the next thing is that we are going to click on continue and then we continue with the rest of the details so once you click on continue you are going to give a name to your ad group so we have the ad group details we are going to come here and give a name to your ad group so you can just put anything there so let me just put ad group one also let me delete the time and the rest so you can delete the time and then put ad group one or you can put something like keto diet one also you can just put any name that you want there's no rule you can do whatever that you want to do with it so when you come here this is one of the important part of your campaign and if you don't set it well you might not get better results when you come here they have three options option number one reconnect with users so when you select this option it means you have people who have visited your website before and you want to reconnect with them you want to retarget them so maybe if you are just starting you don't have to select this option the second option is find new customers when you select this option it means that these people they have not visited your brand or your products before but they are interested in the niche that you are running the ad so let's see if you select this option and your ad is about weight loss pinterest is going to show your ad to people who like weight loss content so these people are interested in your niche but they are not necessarily people who have visited your brand before so we are not going to select that we are going to set our own ad so we are going to target everything by our own so we are going to come here and choose the third option which is what choose your own so we are going to select that so you click on select once you click on select the next thing is that we are now going to begin filling the details so as you come here when you come here you can select the interest and the keywords so here you are going to target specific keywords that you want pinterest to show your ad to when people set those keywords or you can select interest that means people who are interested in, in a certain category so let's begin filling the details so when you come here we have the interest group you can see 
we have people who like animals we have people who like architecture we have us and when you scroll down you can see there are many other interest groups so you can see diy and crafts you can see education and when i scroll further you can see electronics entertainment you can see event planning finance food and drinks and then there are many so you can just choose any of them that you want you can see half here but we are not going to go with that so we are going to paste our own keywords here so that when people search those keywords pinterest can show our ad so we are going to select keywords so once you select keywords it is either that you have your keywords on a Word document or on an Excel sheet that you want to paste it here. But if you don't have keywords already but you want to target certain keywords, you can just come to the search bar and then search for any keyword that you want. Pinterest will show you the monthly search volume and you can select those keywords. So for example, we are targeting keto and now let's see the suggestions. You can see articles mail. This key phrase gets more than 5 million searches per month you can see low cap recipe keto this particular key phrase get more than 5 million searches per month you can see keto salad recipe is also getting more than 5 million searches per month and when you scroll there are many key phrases here that you can select you can see uh, we have overeating we have keto adapted those are keywords that are getting many monthly search volumes so you can just select any keyword that you want so you can search for anything here and then pinterest will give you the suggestions assuming you want to target a keyword what you are going to do is that you are going to just click on this particular plus sign and the keyword will come here so for example we are going to select this one and you can see that the keyword has appeared here now if you already have your own keywords there's no need for you to search for suggestions so you are just going to delete this and then insert your own keywords so we are going to do that in this video so we are going to delete this and then copy and paste our own keywords here so when you come back to the product that we are promoting so what you are going to do is that you have to come to the affiliate support page here you can get to know whether the product owner has certain keywords that is already getting sales so that you can use those keywords to run your ad so we are going to click on the affiliate support page to find out those resources so you click on that so as you can see this is the affiliate support page of the product that we are promoting custom keto diet when you scroll down you can see this is how it looks like you can see they have different things here you can see they have all the details let's scroll down you can see landing pages you can see lead magnets and when you scroll down you can see banners and many other resources that you can use to promote the product so as you scroll when you come here you can see right here they have keywords these are the keywords that the product owners have tested with us and they have found out the keywords are working so we are going to download these keywords and use it to run the pinterest as so you click on download but i have done that ahead of time so i don't need to download it again so when i downloaded the keywords this is how the keywords look like on an excel sheet so as you can see these are the keywords that the product owner has given so we are going to copy this exact keywords and then paste on our pinterest as so we are going to start here and then we are going to copy everything so let's copy everything so you can see these keywords they are up to 122 you can see right here so we are going to highlight it and then copy it so let's copy it so the next thing is that we are now going to bring those keywords to your pinterest ad and you are going to paste it right here as your keywords so as you can see the keywords are right here now you have your keywords so here we don't need it so we don't we are not going to use suggestions so we have our keywords ready so we are now going to move on to the next thing that you need to do which is demographics so the demographics we are going to look at the gender that we are going to target we are also going to look at the ages you look at the locations you look at the language you look at the devices that the people use so we are going to select that so we start with the gender so when you come to the gender you can see that all genders or you can click here to select whether you want only males or only females or any of them that you don't want you can deselect it but if you want you can leave it so i'm going to target all genders because when you come to the affiliate support page of the product you can see customer demographics that is the people who bought the products the product owner is giving us the demographic you can see 80 percent of the people who bought the product are women 
20% of the people who bought the product are men. You can see the ages are 35 to 65. So when we go to our ad, we are going to use these same numbers to target the people. So when you come to gender, we are going to select all genders because 20% is also a number. When you come to the age groups, you are not going to select all ages. You are going to come here, pick specific ages. So you are going to click here and then you are going to deselect the ages that are not needed. So when you come to 18 to 24, we don't need that. So we are going to deselect that. When you come to 25 to 34, we don't need that. And we are going to deselect it. So we are going to leave it from 35 to 65. So that is it. And the next thing is that we are going to come to the location. With the location, you are going to be targeting tier 1 countries. Mostly that is where you get sales. But let's go to the affiliate support page of the product to find out if they have something like that. When you come to the affiliate support page of the product, you can see that when you scroll down, they have countries that this product is getting sales. So there are products that you'll be promoting which might not have this data for you. So you have to be intuitive and then select tier 1 countries. But for this product, you can see that Canada is one of the countries that this product gets So You can see United States. United Kingdom, South Africa, Australia, and New Zealand. These are the countries that the product is mostly getting sold. So we are going to select those countries or those locations. So you come to pick specific locations. So we are going to select that. Once you select that, you can now come here and then begin to select the country. So for example, Australia was part. And when we scroll down, Canada was part. We are going to select that. And when you scroll down further, you can see that there are many countries so let's scroll down and select those countries so we have the united states we have the united states territories we have the united kingdom and when you come up here you have new zealand so on we are going to select that too so we have selected the location so we are done with that the next thing is that we are going to come to the languages so here don't assume that Pinterest will translate your ad to any other language. So if your ad is in English, Pinterest is going to display it like that to the audience. So we are going to select English so that Pinterest will show our ad to those who are speaking only English. So you come here and then you are going to deselect all. Once you deselect all, you are going to scroll down and select English. Now that is done. The next thing is that you are going to come here. The devices here, you can select any device. but I usually leave it all devices now once that is done you are going to come to the placement so when you come to the placement you are going to select which of the placement that you want so there are two options browse and then search with the browse your ads will appear as people browse their home fees and related things so when people are browsing their home fees this product is about keto so when people are browsing about keto pins your ad is going to be displayed but when you, come, you, when you select search, it means people have to search for the keywords that you are targeting before your ad will be displayed. So we are going to select search because we don't want browse. Now once that is done, we are going to come to this particular area and then the optimization and delivery. Here you are going to select custom because you don't want to select automatic because if you select automatic, you are giving Pinterest the freedom to determine the cost per click. But you don't want that. You want to customize the amount that you want to pay per click. So let's go with 0 0.12. That is 12 cents per click. So first, you have to begin with a low byte and then increase it later. Because if you start with higher byte, you might waste money without getting better results. So now, as you can see, that is done. The last part of it is that. We are now going to select the pin that you want to advertise. So as you can see, you have to create a pin about the product that you want to advertise before you can run an ad. So here you can select your existing pins or you can create a new one here. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to create a new one and I'll show you how it works. So let's come click here and then create a new pin. So you click on create. So once you click on create, you can see a, a page like this and here you are going to upload a pin. So to create a pin, you are going to use a free tool called canva.com. So let's get there and I'll show you. When you come to Canva, you can see this is an example of a pin that I've created. And you can create a pin like this. It's very simple and easy. So once you create your pin, you come to these three dotted lines and click on that. 
once you click on it you are going to click on download so that you can download your pin onto your pc so you are going to leave it as png file once that is done you are going to click on download and it will be downloaded onto your pc so now once you have your pin downloaded the next thing is that you are going to upload it here so once you click the arrow you are going to select your pin and then open it and it will be uploaded here so you can see our pin right here as you can see it here the next thing is that we are now going to give a title to your pin so we are going to give a title here and i'll do that and come back to you so as you can see this is the title for my pin how to start a custom keto diet for beginners so once that is done you are going to write a description for your pin so you are going to write a simple description here so i just paste the title and then you are going to write something like lose weight fast with keto diet or something like that so you are going to give a useful description here let me do that and come back so as you can see my simple description how to start a custom keto diet for beginners 2022 lose weight fast without starving or skipping your favorite meals hashtag lose weight fat loss keto diet and then keto once you finish writing your description the next thing is that you are now going to add the destination link that is when people click on this particular ad where are they going to be directed to so you want them to be directed to your product or the product that you are promoting so you are going to add the destination link here which will be your landing page so you don't have to put direct affiliate links here so you are going to paste a landing page here so let me show you as you can see i have a simple landing page here so i'm just going to copy the url of this particular landing page so you copy it once you copy it you are going to bring it back to your ad and then you are going to paste the url here so once that is done you are going to select the board that you want to publish your pin to so you can see i have several boards here so i'm going to select recipe board now once that is done you are going to click on publish and your pin will go live on pinterest so you click on publish and now you can see the pin is publishing so it will publish and i'll come back to you as you can see this is your pin you are going to select it so once you select the pin you can go through the details to find out if you have made a mistake so as you can see you can see two pins selected so i don't want to select two pins so i'm going to deselect one and leave one so once that is done you are going to click on publish and your ad is going to be reviewed by pinterest once it gets approved you can now be getting traffic to your affiliate product as you can see and then you can now begin making money on clickbank so what you are going to do is you are going to click on publish so let's say leave page and it's going to publish so that is it for today's video if you are new and you have not yet subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button press the notification bell for updates of my next videos